I'm Nick from Fouchomatic Off Grid. Today, I just want to show you uh, a quick little project that I did for um, dust collection on my planer. Since I'm planing so much uh, lumber for our house, uh, I needed to improve uh, dust collection. I just have this tiny little uh, 10 gallon shop vac. It's not super powerful, um, and it came with the uh, it's kind of the smallest size hose available. I think it's an uh, inch and a quarter size hose. Uh, so having that alone hooked up to my planer uh, was really inefficient. It got clogged a lot. I had to empty it every, I don't know, five or six or eight boards. Um, and so I was spending most of my time just dealing with where the chips were going instead of running more lumber through the machine. So um, what do you do when you need uh, information about something uh, you don't really know? Uh, believe it or not, on YouTube, there uh, were some helpful videos. So uh, this is directly from stuff that I saw online. Uh, I didn't invent this at all, but uh, I executed it and it really worked uh, pretty well. So uh, here's the pieces parts. So the first thing I did was I went and bought a bigger hose for the shop vac. Uh, it's a two and a half inch hose. I think it's the biggest size that that fits this particular fitting here. Um, but it just screws right onto my existing shop vac. It was like 20 bucks. And then uh, I, I bought a new trash can. You don't have to buy a new trash can. Uh, you could use kind of any style of uh, trash can that you have. Um, just as long as you make it seal up well, and I'll show you how I made this one do that. Uh, and then other than that, it's just some PVC parts. This two and a half inch hose fits, uh, has a nice friction fit on two, on the inside of two inch, uh, PVC fittings, because that's made to be, to fit the outside of two inch PVC pipe, which is two and a half roughly. One thing that I made long ago that uh, is part of this is the adapter to go from um, the four inch port on the planer and a lot of uh, large power tools have a four inch port like that to the two inch hose and what i did is i uh, i had this piece of four inch pvc it's kind of a thin wall pvc and i made a split in it and then i uh, clamped it down at this end um, I left this hole because it actually does fit on the outside of that four inch uh, port. And then I clamped it down and shot some screws into it to make that cone. So it's not elegant exactly, but um, it sure makes that transition. And when you're making a transition like this, you want to make it kind of long. Uh, any sudden changes in the size there, it's just a lot of drag and it's places for dust to get clogged up. So that fits on there nicely. There were some air leaks around the the hose to cone fitting, and I just taped that up with some Tyvek tape. Not a big deal. So you can see here, this is this was all one hose. It was a uh, an eight foot hose, and I just made a cut in it about two foot down the line. Now, if you were using this for cleaning up the shop or or any other thing you might want to have two hoses or even leave this end longer but i made this specifically for uh hooking up to the planer so this is kind of a nice setup here so here are the parts of the of the can itself so none of my pvc fittings are are glued I, they're all just friction fit which is nice because if you do have to take it apart for a clog or something you can get it all apart so this is just a two inch coupler and a short length of two inch uh, pipe. Um, this is a little bit of a funny shape to cut through the side of the trash can, but it really doesn't have to be terribly exact because uh, I just filled it in with some, with some caulking afterward. Um, I used uh, a through bolt at one end, a screw back here towards the hole to hold it in place you see that through bolt right there and that's on there really pretty good that's not going anywhere and it doesn't distort the shape of the lid too terribly much now other videos that i watched they said this angle was 
pretty crucial. What it, what this thing does is the vacuum is pulling from the top <coughs> and the dust is coming in this way. What it does is it creates a little cyclone. So everything gets trapped into the trash can and nothing goes into there. So apparently that cut and that this is high and that this port is at the center, all of that uh, are the key features that make that cyclone happen. So here I just have a, uh, I have a, another two inch coupler. I have a real short piece of two inch PVC between that and this little elbow, and that's just friction fit on there. I put this little piece of particle board on there in order to make it more stable because this is such a flexy surface. I wanted something that wasn't going to move quite so much. So that's just sort of hammered together so that it's a tight fit and nothing nothing moves. Um, the the hole saw that I used to make to cut these holes, it's actually a little loose around the the pipe itself. But the these couplers, they're just a little bigger than that hole, so it seals up pretty nice. I didn't do any caulking on that at all. It's just it's just on there, uh, friction fit. So I also uh, use this weather stripping um, to try and seal up the the air leak between the can and the lid. So it's a nice squishy air uh, weather stripping. You could probably use any variety of uh, little foam tape, but it wants to be a closed cell foam, not the um, not the open cell because that's not going to help you with an air leak. <clears throat> so that fits on there pretty nice and tight. What, what I ended up doing is, since that um, weather stripping adds a little bit of thickness, it actually makes these points just a little loose. Because that clamps down nice and tight, it makes this pop up a little bit. So that hose goes on there. And then I just use, this is a piece of bungee cord shock cord and I just hook it on the handles of the trash can to get that thing nice and tight. So that does the the rest of the job. It seals it up pretty good. And that's all pretty cheap stuff. Uh, a lot of it I had on hand. Um, so those are the pieces parts to here. Now if this is working right um, you can run your shop vac with no filter because no dust is really getting to the vacuum. Um, and running it without the filter uh, will, will increase the suction a little bit. Um, it'll help anyway. Uh, so uh, we might as well fire it up and see how it works, huh? All right, so let's see what's in, what's in here just from that one pass. So that's just one pass of one board. So you can see how that would fill up that little shop vac really pretty fast. It's all in there. Let's see how we did here. Nothing in there. So that's that's working. So when you're checking for to see if your um, if your system is airtight enough, is to you want to turn on your vacuum, and then uh, a, pla a plastic can like this, you should be able to make it crumple. So if you plug it up, you should be able to get that sucker to go down like that.
So that's how I found the air leak in the cone, is that uh, I had plugged it up, and uh, I just looked for the, the hissing air, and that's where it was, so I put some tape on it. That's it. That's my little Cyclone dust collector, and it's saving me a bunch of time. Yesterday, I made all of those bags of sawdust.